Hello, yes, how populism can save us. That's right. But firstly, let me just state, I am not saying populism is the be all and end all to our problems. It's certainly not, but it's a start. It can indeed save us. Let's just put this scenario to you. If we had a populist government, Nigel Farage style populist government, let's say, and uh, we closed our borders and immigration for once was stopped, period, there would be more debate and more open talk on issues such as race, culture, third world immigration, third world demographics, the whole lot, the whole package, there'd be more open debate on it. And that debate, right, would then, it would prompt more change. People would want more change. They would see then the problem uh, that they face that if a lot of the third world immigrants are not removed, uh, they're going to eventually outbreed us, we're going to lose our Britain, even though we've stopped it. How long that would take, I don't know, but lose it all the same. There would be more free and open debate where people would say, well, yeah, we need more change. And within a uh, country, even the government of a populist one, there could be more radical elements that are calling for more change. As an example, let's round up all the illegals that have entered the country illegally, no matter how far back, and they will be deported. We've got the law on our side regarding that. Then there's those that have entered the country legally that weren't born here. And you can prompt them with uh, incentives, financial incentives to leave the country. And also once the mood started changing, where we could debate freely and openly, I don't think a lot of these people would want to stay here. I really, really don't, right? Those born and bred here that go back decades, the Windrush generation, some of them may want to return back to the Caribbean or wherever, right? But um, would gladly do so with financial incentives. So populism does offer us uh, fantastic um, rewards, if that's the word, or opportunities, you see, because the old traditional British white nationalist dogmas failed. You're selling that to no one. End of, right? So the populism is at least is a start, isn't it? It's a start. And also with populism, you have people within the gates of power, don't we, that are populists. You have people in academia, you have them everywhere that are populist and are not scared because it's not really to, um, it's not really, what's the word for it? Bear with me. It's not really a, um, an approach that is as bad as, say, a full-blown British nationalist. You, they can cope with it. They're not attacked as much, right? So we have people within the gates of power, within uh, various fields of academia and whatever that are populist. And so we've already got mass support there because there are important people in the country that you could say are populist. And they would gladly ride along on a populist ticket, right? And like I've said, if the sellouts and the creators were removed, we had a populist government, the borders were closed once and for all, there was no immigrants allowed into Britain, period. And in, and in fact, we then started talking about uh, removing as many as we could within the law, humanitarian, not this forced repatriation nonsense. Things would change, as I've said, the mood would change in the country. People would be more aware and more proud of their ancestors, their history, everything, because there'd be more open debate now. And it would just, I believe it would just escalate and escalate and change and change and change to where, before you know it, we're talking, you know, British nationalist language. I I'm sure it would, but what's the alternative? There isn't one. The alternative is to wait for this collapse whenever that's coming, assuming that ever comes and try and fight our way back. If we can't fight our way back now, we're not doing it when there's a collapse and there's millions more third worlders weighed against us. It's not happening. Populism is the way forward, right? Populism can save us. It opens gates and doors. It gives us opportunities we haven't got as full-blown British nationalists. And plus, that's never been solar. We've missed our opportunity probably in the 70s and maybe uh, in the mid-late 2000s. I don't know. But it's gone now, right? That that we must accept, and I do. It's gone. So the populist way has many opportunities for us, and plus it makes our job a lot easier. And there are many people in society, within the gates of power, within the gates of academia, learning, whatever, 
that are populist and are not scared to ride along on the populist ticket because it's not taboo. Well, not yet anyway. So that's why populism will save us. This may be uh, one of my last videos because I've got to, uh, I've got to put all my attention into Kensington now. There's things happening in and around Kensington that I've got to deal with. I've got to strike while the iron's hot, and there's some good opportunities in the area now. Plus, the videos. I can make them till the cows come home. It's not going to change anything. I thought I'd just do this last one and just give my opinion on why populism can save us. Okay, thank you.